Welcome to class. Uh, in continuation with the series of talks that we have been doing on pioneers in the field of social linguistics and the pillars who contributed immensely in emergence of this discipline. One such name is Jurel van Rijk, uh, and today we are going to talk about Jurel van Rijk and his works. Van Rijk was born on 23rd May 1926 and died on 30th March 1967. Uh, in his short span of life, he died a little younger and in his short span of life as an academician, researcher and a teacher, the kind of contributions he made in linguistics and various subfields of the discipline is remarkable and commendable. We will have a short and a brief survey of his journey as a linguist as a teacher, as a researcher, and his everlasting imprint and influence on the discipline. He was a Polish-American linguist. Van Rijk was born in Wilno, Poland, to a well-respected and very established affluent family. He was the first child of Max Van Rijk. And to tell you, Max Van Rijk was a renowned scholar. Lebov was one of his students. So you can imagine the legacy Uriel van Rijk had and the kind of intellectual exposure he had since his childhood. He earned his PhD from Columbia University and taught in Yiddish studies, social linguistics and dialectology. Uh, he advocated the increased acceptance of semantics and compiled the iconic modern English Yiddish Yiddish English dictionary published shortly after his death. Uriel van Rijk was a Yiddish and a general linguist. He was editor and educator. Despite his early death, he left behind him equivalent of several lifetimes of research and creativity and unbelievably wide range of investigations that he carried out during his lifetime. If we glance at his journey, illustrious journey, academic and research journey, Van Rijk was the son of linguist Max Van Rijk, we just learnt, who was a member, uh, a mentor of both Marvin Harzong and William Lebov, two very prominent social linguists. Junior Van Rijk is also credited with being the first linguist to recognize the phenomenon of interlanguage and after 19 years of this recognition and identification, Larry Selinka published a work on interlanguage in 1972 work. But the idea while working on language in contact, this idea was first noticed by Van Rijk, which was translated into interlanguage by Larry Selinka. Interlanguage also remains a very significant work in second language acquisition uh, credited to Larry Selinka. However, this idea was noticed and identified by Uriel Van Rijk 19 years before its publication by Larry Selinka. In his classic book Language in Contact, Van Rijk first noted that learners of second language consider linguistic forms from their first language equal to forms in the target language. So this equivalence was noticed first by Weinrich during his work on 
language in contract. Uh, we'll talk about interlanguage in some other class, but she was the first who noticed this phenomenon. However, the essential inequality of these forms leads to speech which is which the native speakers of target language consider unequal. Dao Bandak died of cancer on March 30th, 1967, very early death, prior to the publication of his uh, wonderful work in Yiddish English and English Yiddish Dictionary. Behind him, he is survived by uh, a huge range of publication on various issues and subfields of the discipline which inspires all of us till date and which is relevant and significant in understanding social linguistics as a discipline. His master class is language in contract, which is still the primary resource and reference for people working in language and contact subfield. Jiril Van Rick went to the United States in 1940 and as a linguist, he was an immediate success. The monograph, Language in Contact, Finding the Problems was published in 1952, based on his doctoral dissertation, became the standard reference work in, its, in this field. The textbook, College Yiddish, An Introduction to Yiddish Language and to Jewish Life and Culture, published in 1949, went through five editions and 10 printings within a 10 year of span after its publication. So you can imagine the impact of these two publications that he made. He was appointed professor of Yiddish language, literature and culture at University of Columbia in 1959. Yuril Van Rick was also chairman of the university's department of linguistics from 1957 to 1965. Uh, his extraordinary teaching capabilities are attested by the fact that some of his, of his students became leading linguists at various universities in America. And if you look at the work and the range of influence that he created in the discipline, uh, you know, it is immense at the same time, impressive achievements as an editor was like the US State Department's problem of communism. He remained editor in from 1950 to 1951. He became editor and worked in linguistic journal called Word from 1953 to 1960. The first three volumes of the field of Yiddish studies in Yiddish language, folklore and literature, right? 1954, the first volume was published, 1963, the second volume, and 1969, the third volume. He was also a very uh, significant and uh, a great contributor while editing Yuvo's Yiddish Folklore, the, the journal, uh, which, which you know, was very popular among the Yiddish speakers. He was the editor of Yiddish section in the Encyclopedia Britannica World Language Dictionary that was published in 1954. And his Yiddish language and folklore a selective bibliography of research in 1959 compiled jointly with his accomplished wife, Beatrice Van Rich, and it is of a special mention. Uh, Van Rich's research papers, uh, monographs, books uh, were published in Yiddish, English, Hebrew, French, and Russian, and it ranged topically from uh, a cultural history of Yiddish rhyme through such fields as 
phonology, grammatical theory, bilingualism, language standardization, dialectology, semantics, and lexicology. So a wide range of themes that he covered in his work, uh, and he, you know, uh, authoritatively wrote in all these subfields: phonology, grammatical theories, bilingualism, dialectology, semantics, lexicology, and his works are still quoted, referred to, and remain a primary source of reference and understanding of these subfields. Uh, two major achievements uh, in Uriel Van Rick's are uh, number one, the Pioneer Language and Culture Atlas of Culture Atlas published in 1950, which is only the world's largest collection of spoken languages, and the second, Modern English Yiddish, Yiddish English Dictionary 1968. The dictionary is a climax in the history of Yiddish lexicography, both in Earth's unsurpassed scholarly quality and its immediate wide popularity. So, though it was published a year after his death, he is remembered for his work in Language in Contact, and he is the one who documented Yiddish language, grammar, he created a number of primers, reference books, manuals, a dictionary and uh, you know his work on bilingualism. His master class is language in contact for which he remains still the primary source in this field. If you look at uh, most widely held works of Van Rick, uh, though in a short span of time, he died in 67, but still he left behind him a legacy of achievements in multiple lifetimes. Some of the selected major works which are widely quoted and referred to, I have tried to list them here. Uh, college, college Yiddish. An Introduction to Yiddish Language and Jewish Life and Culture, published in 1949, first edition and sixth edition in 1999, and it continues. Another important masterclass publication, which is a very original contribution by Uriel Van Rick, is Language in Contact, Findings and Problems, published in 1953 and it was reprinted by Muthan in 1963. Uh, yet another groundbreaking work that appeared in 1958, Say It in Yiddish, a phrase book of travelers. A modern Yiddish English, English Yiddish dictionary, which was reprinted and it keeps on being reprinted again and again. It continues to be reprinted again and again. There are some other, uh, you know, works that are mostly cited and I will give you little data, uh, you know, courtesy Volcat, uh, you know, Volcat, We will also go through the list of major works which have high frequency of, of uh, appearance, printing and uh, which remain a primary source of uh, understanding these issues in the subfields of social linguistics like language in contact, finding and problems. It has 176 editions published between 1953 to 2010. You can imagine in three languages, you can imagine the impact of it. Then the another book, Languages in Contact, French, German and Romance in 20th Century Switzerland, 23 editions published in 2011 in English. 
right? Uh, on semantics, another work, 19 editions published between 1979 and 2018 in English. Uh, Uriel van Rijk was one of the most innovative and creative thinkers in the field of semantics in the 20th century. This volume contains all of the Van Rijk's writings on semantics, including a number of papers that were not published in his lifetime. It includes the first paper on the universals of semantic theory, an analysis of fundamental concepts of semantics and semiotics, and a critique of lexicography. So, such a powerful, uh, impactful contribution he made in the field of semantics. Then, another book. Modern English edition, edition English Dictionary, we have been talking about, two editions published in 1968 in English. Then College Yiddish that we just talked about, an introduction to Yiddish language and to Jewish life and culture, 104 editions published between 1960 and 6, 1971 and 2011 in four languages. Another book, Modern English Yiddish, English in, uh, English Dictionary, again 47 editions published between 1968 and 2012 in four different languages. Explorations in Semantic Theory, 30 editions published between 1966 and 2014. Uh, Yiddish Language and Folklore, a Selective Bibliography of Research, 19 editions published, right. The Field of Yiddish Studies in Language, Folklore and Literature, third collection, 19 editions published. So, if you look at the lifespan, short lifespan and tremendous achievement, Uriel van Rijk remains one of the most influential persons who influenced and shaped the discipline of social linguistics. He had a great enriched intellectual exposure since his childhood because he was the first child of Max van Rijk. Max van Rijk is the one who had uh, Herzog and Lebov as his students. And even Uriel van Rijk's students also rose to fame and became a prominent linguist all over America. Uriel van Rijk's masterclass, uh, the masterpiece is Language in Contact, and another one is the Comprehensive Dictionary, uh, Bilingual Dictionary, Yiddish English, and English Yiddish Dictionary. That remains, which was published one year after his death. These two remains the original major contribution by Uriel van Rijk. Uriel van Rijk was also instrumental in organizing this new emerging field and he, he worked with many leading pioneer researchers in the field to give a definite shape to the field. Language is cont in contact is one of the central themes of social linguistics. Because when language comes in contact with another language, uh, subsequent language changes happen, lots of borrowing happens, and we, find, we witness a lot of variation in the use. So, if you look at uh, the Uriel van Rijk's contribution, uh, he created a fertile ground for the discipline to grow. His works, you know, are spread in multiple sub-disciplines like bilingualism, uh, early contributors to the concept and phenomena of bilingualism that we understand today, original contributor in you know uh, semantics, universal semantic theory, right? That gives you basic understanding of the phenomena. Uh, many primers, books, and uh, teaching resources he created for Yiddish. Uh, you know, 
Yiddish College Prima uh, is one of the most uh, you know, basic fundamental textbooks that is used in Yiddish. Uh, his, his work in Yiddish and uh, followed by Joshua Fishman's work in Yiddish right, are uh, primary sources. And uh, Uriel Wendrick's impact on the discipline in such a short span of time cannot be overstated. And uh, he was the one who created a background and a very fertile ground for the growth of this discipline. And uh, language and contact remains the original source of understanding the phenomena and where he talks about findings and problems and findings of language and contact. So this is it for now about Uriel Wendrich and his uh, impact in the discipline and his contribution in shaping field of social linguistics. He remains one of the solid pillars in development of social linguistics as a discipline. His works remains original source of reference for understanding various phenomena he worked on and he, he, he wrote on. So this is it for now in this series. We'll talk about uh, William Wright, we'll talk about Ellen Grimshaw and uh, M.A.K. Halliday who are also influencers and you know contributors in the development of the field in our subsequent lectures. So for now, thank you very much. This is it about Ural Wendrick and please explore the links I have given. You will find uh, you know a variety of works and uh, a rich trajectory of Ural Wendrick. Stay tuned. See you in the next class. Thank you.